Hi, I'm Jennifer Cunha from Squam Hill Sewing and Design, and this tutorial is going to be um, all the steps um, describing or explaining how to make the shaped face mask. Um, the pattern is the one um, that I got from craftpassion.com, um, but with a pocket between the outside fabric and the lining fabric so that you could insert a filter or a disposable mask. Um, I'm going to show how to insert a wire around the top of the mask so that you can get it snug around your nose and your face. And um, I'll go over how to insert hair elastics um, for the ear holders or the things that go over your ears. Um, if you can't find elastic, which seems to be in short supply. So I will start um, the tutorial with the step one of how to um, add seam allowances to um, your pattern. Okay. Okay, step one, you're going to go to craftpassion.com and search for the free fitted face mask pattern and either print that out or trace it off right from the computer screen, which is what I did. I traced off the male, um, the men's size, um, and I've been using that for men and women. So I went ahead and did that, realizing that this pattern does not include seam allowances. So once you have that template, you're going to, we're gonna make a template to cut out our inner fabric and our outer fabric. So you're gonna place this template on some plain paper and you're going to add approximately 3 eighths of an inch on this, this curved edge, this curved edge and the bottom. And then for the outer fabric, you're going to add one inch on the side here. This is the side of the mat where the mask is going to go closest to your ear. So that is the template for the outer fabric. And then you're going to do the same thing for the inner fabric where you're going to add a 3 8 inch seam allowance on this curve, this curve, the bottom, and then on the side here. The, this is the difference for the, the mask that has the pocket um, in between the inner and outer layers, you're gonna add a one half inch seam allowance for your inner fabric. Here is my outer fabric cut out and my inner fabric. You're gonna cut out two um, of, of each. And now this edge is the edge that is going to be in the center of the mask. So we're gonna sew these right sides together. Three eighths of an inch in. If you remember, we used, we added a three eighths inch seam allowance. Stitching when you start and finish. I'm going to do the same thing to the inner fabric. And you can pin this. This fabric is um, really is not slippery, so it's staying together well. So I'm not pinning it. But if you have something stretchy or if you're using t-shirt material as the lining, you might want to do a bunch of pinning so um, it doesn't stretch out as you sew it. Then we're going to top stitch down both on both of these so the way you do that you open your mask up you can iron this open in the essence of time trying to like make as many of these as i can i'm, I'm skipping this step but 
fold your seam allowance over to the left or to the right, it doesn't matter, and sew very close to the seam on the right side, lifting this up as you go to make sure that your, the seam allowance here is folded over. And it's not gonna be flat all at once. You just kind of sew a few inches and flatten it out as you go, making sure. I'm not even going to um, take that the work out so that I can kind of just sew quicker and just start now doing the same thing with the outer fabric. Can batch sew these and just get a bunch cut out and then sew them up in a line like this and cut them apart afterwards. Okay, okay so now we're going to do some ironing. Uh, you're going to take the lining fabric and you're going to fold it over a quarter of an inch and iron it down, another quarter of an inch, the same on the other side. take the outer fabric and fold it over a quarter of an inch and then press it down it's approximately three quarters of an inch quarter of an inch An inch. Now we're back to we'll go back to the sewing machine. A lining fabric, and we're going to sew down the um, little hem that we just ironed. your threads as you go. Okay. okay, now we're going to attach the lining to the outer fabric. I'm going to put them right sides together, matching up the seams, not the top stitching seam, but the seam that you sewed originally. So that's on the um, outer fabric, that's right there. My inner fabric, it's right here. So I'm gonna match those seams up as well as you can. And I'm gonna pin that. And I'm also gonna pin it along the top. Because this is a curved edge, so it would tend to move out of place as I'm sewing it. And I'm gonna sew that right across with a 3 8 inch seam allowance.
going to do the same thing at the bottom edge, matching up those seams. I'll just pin that there. And so right along the bottom with the 3 8 inch seam allowance. Now, I'm going to clip off on the top and the bottom the bulk of these seams right here without clipping through that, this stitching line that's here. So I'm just gonna trim that off so that the top stitching is a little easier. So I'm kind of going close to, but not cutting that line. It's just to get some of the bulk off. And now we're going to turn this right sides out. Ask turned right sides out, and we're just going to press it in place. Now remember, we already ironed down on the outer fabric this casing right here that, that the elastic will go into. So just open it back up and iron down the 3 8 inch seam allowance. Top and the bottom. And then fold that back, that seam allowance for the casing that we already did. And now you can see we will have a pocket here. So I'm gonna finish ironing this and we'll be back at the sewing machine. Okay, now I have the mask all ironed down and I just have these casings just ironed down. It just makes it easier to have them very well pressed before you start trying to put in your elastic or your hair um, ties if you're using hair ties. But now to top stitch, we're gonna open these up. We still have those lines ironed in there and the fabric will remember that. So turn it over to the right side and we're gonna top stitch just along the edge and this on the top is going to form the casing for some wire that we're gonna run along the top. You don't have to top stitch all the way to the end here because this is going to be folded under, but you definitely want to start before the seam where that inner um, fabric is attached to the outer fabric, if that makes sense. Um, run this along the top. Opening the iron casing out. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna insert some wire along the top of this mask. I'm using floral wire, which is, um, I'm actually not 100% sure what kind of metal it is, but it's coated in plastic. 
And we're gonna insert that in the casing where we top stitched, right along the top, um, where the lining fabric is. So this can be a little fiddly, and there's probably a better way to do it. And if anybody has a better way, please let me know. But I'm just running this along until it goes through and gets to the other end. And then I'll show you how I secure it down. Have the wire inserted up and along the casing and I have it until, until right before this um, little seam and I'm stopping it there and then I'm going to take my wire cutters and just cut it a little bit shorter than the end here. So I'm just going to pull it out, cut that a little shorter so it's all encased inside. So now the wire is all the way encased inside and I'm going to go from the outside and I'm going to zigzag stitch it over it to hold it into place. And at the ends where it's um, sharp, I'm going to zigzag stitch a lot over it to provide a barrier so it doesn't poke through. And again, there is probably a better way to do this that I don't know of. So if anybody out there does know a better way to do this, please let me know. Um, so I'm gonna feel the wire starts about here, right about there. So I'm gonna start zigzag stitching a little bit before that. Oops. I have to change my foot. Don't zigzag stitch with a straight stitching foot or else you'll smash your needle. You can cut. So I'm gonna start zigzag stitching a little bit before the start of the wire. And first hand crank it to make sure that I'm not hitting the wire in that uh, when the needle goes to the left, it's approximately at the line of stitching. And when it goes to the right, it goes over the edge of, of the mask. So I have a really old machine and um, it is set at four, but this might be the, uh, on a newer machine, it probably would be the widest zigzag stitch that you can do. So I stitch a little bit, then I reverse back and forth over a bunch of times to encase that end of the wire so that it doesn't poke through. And then I'm gonna zip that stitch inside to the out. And over this little bump here in the center, I'm just gonna push this through. I'm kind of pushing the wire to the right. I don't sew over it and break my needle. And again, here I am at the end, so I'm gonna zigzag back and forth over it and reverse back and forth over it to encase it. And that's it, that's how I put the wire in. And so now we're just right at the point to finish this mask. And I'm going to sew down these casings and I'm gonna sew the um, hair bands inside of them. Um, because I don't have elastic, I still can't get any elastic. Um, so these are working pretty well. Um, another way to finish these would be you could, if you can't get hair ties or, or you want to use um, twill tape, you could make ties that would go through or be sewn on in four points or through the, cha the channel there. There's a lot of different ways to finish them just so... Um, but this is the way that I'm using. So I'm putting the elastic a little, a little bit in. And this has to be done in stages to fold the casing around the elastic as you sew. Now nope, I need to put this on a straight stitch. Okay, so I'm going to stitch back and forth. And I'm going to just sew a little bit at a time and st stretching my elastic down or just moving it down little by little. As I go, this 
so then I can get and then when I hit the end I backstitch over it a bunch of times to secure it and that's it I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll show you what it looks like all finished Okay, this is the fin finished product. This is the outside of the mask. Here's the wire that can shape this. The inside with the pocket in between the layers to insert a filter or disposable mask. And here's the el elastic hair ties for the, um, the things that go around your ears.